Welcome to my Bar Lattie's Body Blitz workout of arms and abs. For today's workout, all you will need is a light set of hand weights and a yoga mat if you're working out on hard floor. Okay, let's get started. I want you to stand in a really nice upright position and just bring your arms out to the side and now put them behind you, touching your weights together, squeeze up to the front and then bring them together in the front. So it's a three part motion, down and up, front and side. Squeezing, really squeezing at each part of the motion. Get your arms right up to shoulder height, squeeze into the front, out and down. Squeeze up, squeeze front, side and down. So you really need to think about engaging every muscle in your shoulders and your arms so that you're creating your own tension here. With light hand weights, it's really up to you to create isometric contractions in those muscles. So make it feel a lot harder than it actually is with these really tiny hand weights. If at any time you find this is too much for your arms, you can put them down. And even doing it without hand weights is still an effective workout. Down and up. Squeeze front, side, down and up. If you can get your weights to touch at the bottom, that's perfect. But if you can't, then really just try to do the best to get your hands as close together as you can. Just do three more sets, out and down. Two sets, out and down. And last set, out and down. Now keeping your hands to the side, it's down and up. Down and up. So you're not coming all the way down. It's like almost all the way down and up down and back up. Squeezing your shoulders, keeping your arms really straight here, but don't grip onto those weights too tightly. Down and up. Squeezing everything together. Try to keep your shoulders down and back here, so don't hunch them up towards your ears. Down and up. Just stopping and really contracting. You should really be feeling that burn in the shoulders. Down and up. For eight, seven, Six, five, just four more, and three, and two, and one. Hold it up, turn your palms and little ups, little tiny ups, tiny burn up, palms towards the back. You can look down at the floor if it's more comfortable on your neck. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ouch, that really hurt. We're down and around with your shoulders. Now bring your arms back out to the side and we're just going to do those backs. So clap behind and up, clap behind and up. This time you're not coming all the way up to your shoulders on the up. It's just kind of like a diagonal, 45 degree angle with your body. Clap behind and up. Breathing deeply, holding your tummies in tight here helps with your posture. Standing nice and tall as if you've got a piece of string pulling you up to the ceiling. Back and up. Back and up for four, three, two, and one. Now palms up, and we're going to go down and up with our palms facing the front of the room. So down to your thighs and up. Once again, not all the way up, it's more of a diagonal. Down and up. Breathing, nice tall posture. Really straight through the arms, almost locked out but don't squeeze your palms too tightly or your weights in your hands too tightly. Down and up for four, three, two, one. Holding your arms up now, bring them in like goal posts and we're going to kiss our elbows together and back out to the side. In and out, in and out. Keeping your arms up at shoulder height and really trying to touch those forearms and elbows together if you can, in and out. Try not to hunch your shoulders. It's tempting to hunch them up here. Try to keep your neck long, your spine really straight. In and out. Just a few more, really trying to burn out with lots of reps. Because they're lightweight, you're not gonna feel this unless you really do a high repetitions and focus on those muscles for four and three and two and one, now coming into the middle, touching your weights together, kiss your elbows together like this. Out, out. Really squeezing and burning through those shoulders. Go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
One now, little ones, tiny little ones. Keep your arms up, kissing them together. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ouch, that was painful for me. Oh, I hope it felt good for you too. Arms in front at a diagonal, just bicep curls. Now, because these weights are so light, I want you to consider a push-pull action. So your arms are out in front, they're slightly away from your body. You're pulling in and pushing away. Really keeping your arms nice and long here. Pushing away. So it's as if you've got a pulley that you're pulling in towards you. Think of those uh, resistance bands. And then you're pushing something heavy away with the back of your palm on the down. In and out. Breathing, standing tall. Lots of reps here. Think of results. Think about how you want to shape your arm and keep working through the pain. If you find these exercises are not effective enough, then just up your weight. Even half a kilo will make a big difference in these high repetition exercises. Down and up for four, three, two, one. Now I want you to do hammer curls, but alternating your arms. So still keeping your arms away from your body, slightly in front, and down and up at a faster pace, alternating. In and out. Still thinking of that push-pull motion. Pushing and pulling. This will also engage your shoulder muscles, which we've just worked, so they should still be burning. Bonus. Down and up. Nice tall posture. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Now bring your arms up to shoulder height and pull them behind you and in front. Pull to the back. Kiss your shoulder blades together. Really make it a deliberate motion. Try to keep your elbows up. Don't dip them down like this. Keep them up at shoulder height and pull behind you. It's like you're pulling on a cable in front of you and pulling behind your back, all the way back, forward and back, forward and back. Once again, thinking of push-pulling, push away, pull back. Nice and upright, don't hunch your shoulders. Eight, seven, six, five, just four, three, two, one, now stay on the back, keep your elbows up and little pulses. Squeezing your shoulder blades together. Relax through your hands, looking in front of you. You can even look down slightly if it's straining your neck and push back behind you. Tiny little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax for a second, come back up. Now this time your arms are facing the ceiling or the top of your arms are facing the ceiling, elbows facing the ceiling and out to the side. Your palms are facing towards the back of the room here. Out to the side, keep your arms up. So the, fo the top of your arms are in line with your shoulders. I really love this exercise. It's like a tricep exercise, but it also gets the back of the shoulders at the same time. You probably see me using this a lot in my workouts. Extend, bend, extend. Really nice and straight through the arm and on the up. Lean forward slightly if it helps you to keep your back nice and straight. Don't curve or arch through the back. Eight, seven, six, five, just four, three, two, one. Now down, up, extend. Switch the arm that's in front. Down, row, out. Down, row, out. This one's slightly easier, so once again you need to think about really squeezing at each stage of this exercise. Down, row, out. Squeeze through your triceps. Squeeze through your shoulders. Squeeze through your upper back on the up. It's like a mini row. Four, three, Two, and last one. 
Now we're going to move on to the tricep, the back of the arm. You can just leave your weight on top of one arm. Bring the other one up in line with your ribcage and then slightly higher, and then pulse up. Just pulse your arm up to the ceiling. Your body is in a straight line, so you're trying not to round or arch through your back. If you rather do this with both legs together like this, you can do that as well. It doesn't really matter, however you feel comfortable. And just push that weight up to the ceiling. It's as if you're trying to stamp the number of your weight up onto the ceiling. Pushing up. Arm nice and straight. Go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, now in, so in towards your body. Your arm is still straight here, not too tight a grip on those hand weights, and keep your shoulders pointing down towards your mat. Don't open out like this, keep them both down, and in towards your rib cage, keeping that arm really nice and straight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one combination, up and in, up and in. Tiny little ups and ins. These are very traditional tricep exercises, bar style tricep exercises, and they're very effective. Really should feel the burn here. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring your arm down for a second. Bring it back up, and it's a bend press. It's a tiny little bend, and the main emphasis is on the press. So you're pressing your elbow straight. Press. Tiny little motion, then press. You should be feeling that burn in the tricep, shaping that muscle, getting it ready for those tank tops. Just keep your goals in mind. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. Roll that arm around and we're going to the other side. So once again, just balance your weight in between your legs, back nice and straight, hinge over at the waist, arm up by your rib cage, and start pressing that weight up towards the ceiling. Keep your arm really nice and straight, and make sure it's in close to your body, so don't let it come out like this. Really locking out through the elbow, but making sure your fingers are relaxed. Just wriggle them around every now and then so that you know you're not gripping too tightly on that hand weight. Really nice and straight and up. Keep your neck relaxed, so you might want to look down at your mat. Try not to crane your head and look at me too often. And little ups, little ups. Just go for another eight, seven, six, five, just four, Three, two, one, now in, in towards the body. These are small movements, so you're not going to see my arm thrown around and with really dynamic motion here, but it's the micro movements that get into all those tiny supporting muscle groups. So really hang in there. Both shoulders are facing the mat. Eight, seven, six, five, just four, Three, two, and one. Now combination up and in, up and in, like a little L shape. Up and in, oh, this really burns. Up and in. If you need to, you can also drop the weight and do this without a weight. Because I know this really gets in there. Up and in, just five more, four more. Three, two, one. Oh, that last one didn't even look real. Up and squeeze back. Bend press. Tiny little bend press. Your arm's going to feel like it weighs a ton and it's going to want to fall towards the ground. But if you can, try and keep it up there. You always think it's up high, but if you actually look in the mirror, it's probably starting to get closer and closer to the ground. Bend press. Think about the emphasis being on the press, on the back. Eight, seven, six. Five and four, three, two, one. Ouch, roll it around. And last little thing for the bicep to finish off. So arms in front long and just in and out with both arms. 
all the way into the shoulders and then extend long, really stretching, stretching out long. Just go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now hammer curls alternating, keeping your arms at shoulder height. So you can see these are slightly different. Before we did a similar movement, but it was down at a diagonal at a 45 degree angle, but now it's all the way up. So your shoulders have to hold your arms in place. Longer levers, which means there's more intensity. Burning out those shoulders one last time, and then we're gonna move on to the mat for some abs. So really make the most of this last little bit of arms. Nice, long, lean arms. Tiny little weights can really define and shape your arms without adding any extra bulk. So just make sure you concentrate on your muscles, squeezing tightly, push pulling. Five, four, three, two, one. Last exercise. Out, in, up. Out, in, up. So extending with the hammer curls and then pushing to the ceiling. My arms are staying at shoulder height, so I'm not dropping them. Just a mini pulse up and up. This is a burner. Relax through your hands. Don't hunch your shoulders. Four and up. Three and up. Two and up. Last one and up. Well done. So you finish the arms, just swing them out a little bit and just put your weights down on the ground. You won't need those. And we're going to come down onto the mat. Just sit down with your legs in front of you and roll back into like a C curve position. So you're really pushing your belly in and rounding through your spine. Hold your arms out in front and now just start to drop back and back up. So you're just dropping down and lifting back up. Trying to keep your shoulders away from your ears, really pulling in tightly through that midsection, anchoring your feet on the ground, and trying to come down lower and lower as your abs start to get warm. Really just come down to your point of control. So if you find that this is too easy, then come down further. If you find it's too hard, then come up further. It really is up to you. Work at your own level of intensity. Just eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now I want you to shift side to side. So you're just bringing your elbow back and then reaching forward. So really deliberately twisting through the waist, still maintaining that leaned back position. Really pushing behind you, bringing that elbow in towards your waist and trying to stay back, trying not to lift your feet off the ground, keeping everything firm and anchored. Push pulling through. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now coming back up, and this time we're lifting our feet up as well. If you can, just keep your shins at 90 degrees to the ceiling, your arms out in front, and we're going to go back like this in a tiny micro movement, and then bring our knees in towards our chest. So you're balancing up on your sit bones, and then push pulling with your legs, trying to keep them up. If this is too hard, you can do this exercise with your hands on the ground, like this, to help you. Or if it's still too hard, what you can do is bring one leg in at, this, at a time. So, I don't even know how that works, like that, there you go. But if you can, push both of your legs in towards your middle. And keep your body upright, arms nice and straight. You should feel this in your hip flexors a little bit as well. Five, four, three, two, one. Coming back down. Now sitting up, holding on behind your knees, 
come and drop lower to the ground and actually rest every part of your back on the ground except, except for from your bra strap upwards and so lift your shoulders off, hands towards your knees and start pulsing up towards your knees. This is a really small movement. If you're finding it uncomfortable, you can put your hands behind your neck. But if you can, just look up at the ceiling, hold your tummy in flat and pulse. Tiny micro movements, really contracting through that waistline. Keeping every part of your spine flat on the ground, just lifting your shoulders up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Coming back up, curling up, straightening out through your spine. Coming back down halfway. This time I want you to lift your legs up and straighten them. So you're in a modified position here, holding on with your arms so that you can try to get your legs as straight as possible and engage your abs, but not have to use all of your ab strength yet to hold up those legs. Now, once you're comfortable in this, and it may take you a while, try to lift one hand off and then the other hand off. If you can, hold it here. If you can't, just bend your legs or put your arms back behind your knees, whatever your level is. Holding it straight. Just a few more counts. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Coming back in. Straightening up through that waist, leaning back. Now we're going to make like a rounded shape with our arms and we're going to bring our elbows down to the mat from side to side, getting our obliques involved. Side to side. Twisting through the waistline, looking straight ahead, keeping everything pulled in and just tapping those elbows down. The more advanced you are, the closer to the ground you'll get. Really try to twist through that waist, whittling away your waistline. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Coming back up, straightening through the spine, coming back down. Pointing your toes, just tapping your toes on the ground. Bring your arms back in front and now we're going to twist and lift our opposite leg. So you're not going to come all the way down to the mat this time, but you're going to twist and lift. Lifting your legs up just in the center and twisting through the waist. Twist and lift. Gently placing your toes back on the ground so you're not letting your feet flop down. Twisting through that waist. And up. And up. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Now both hands behind you on the ground. Keep your legs bent like this. And we're just going to start lifting and alternating tapping our toes on the ground, supporting ourselves with our hands, but not hunching through those shoulders. Up and up, up and up, keeping the shape of those legs. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Taking a break, giving those hip flexors a little bit of a stretch. Coming back down. Now this time all the way down again with just your shoulders off the mat. Arms by your side and try to extend your legs up. What I want you to do is draw a line down the inside of your leg as you stretch away and lower down. So it's like you're using your toe to draw an imaginary line. Down and up. If you find this uncomfortable on your neck, you can lie all the way down. Or if you want to, you can put your hands behind your neck like this. Just make sure you're not lifting up through your belly. Keep your back flat. If it means you can't bring your legs down quite as far, then that's fine. 
drawing down and up, down and up for four, three, two, one. Now coming up, your heels are together and we're going to do a tiny bend press through those legs. Your inner thighs are facing you, you're keeping your shoulders up, bend press. By keeping your legs out, hovering at around about a 45 degree angle, you're engaging your lower abs, whilst also using your inner thighs. Just bend press, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now straightening your legs, rolling up. And now what we're going to do is come back down all the way down onto our elbows, neck nice and relaxed, and we're going to bring our legs up and just flutter our legs, flutter kicks. Up and down, straight up and down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now wider range of motion, pulse twice. Up for two. Down for two. Flutter, flutter. Nice straight legs here. Point those toes. Keep everything nice and long. And up, and up. Eight, seven, six, five. Just four, three, two, and one. Coming back up. Relaxing that for a second. Coming back down with our hands behind. Stretch your legs out long, and we're going to go up and in, and up and in. So this time we're pushing our front body, our top half, towards that leg. Up and in, up and in. It's mostly about that hip flexor and that lower ab. You're squeezing your ribs to your hips. Three, two, one. Other side, relaxing through those shoulders. Up and in. Up and in. Squeezing each time. Squeezing up. Trying to use your abs and not leaning too heavily on those arms. I know it's tempting. Not many more exercises. We're nearly done. Up and in. Squeeze. Breathe through it, breathe out on the exertion. So out on the in, five, four, three, two, one. Now coming up, bending both your legs, coming up with your hands like this and twist as you lift that leg. You're twisting towards the front as you lift your leg. You're grazing your elbow with that knee. Just lifting straight up to the ceiling and up and up. Really twisting through the waist, holding everything in for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and opposite way. Twist away all the way up. Try to look behind you if you can. Deliberately squeezing through that waist. Imagine that you're wringing out a washcloth. Try to wring out that waist. Across, across. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And last exercise, hands back behind. We're just going to bring our legs up and down together. Keep your knees together. This is a hard one, so if you find that you can't do this, do one leg at a time. Up and down, bringing your chest towards your knees. Just a few more. Last little burnout. Five, four, three, two, one. Bonus hold. Hold it up there. Hold it up there, breathe everything in. If you can, take your hands off and hold it. Breathe out. Eight, seven, six, 
Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. Now coming forward, we're just gonna go into child's pose. Stretch that back. Stretching out our arms and our back. And then sitting sideways on the mat. Stretching over through that side body. And then over the other side. And down. Stretching out through the back of that shoulder. And then just switching your legs around. Stretching over. And over. And down. You can hold these stretches as long as you wish. This is always just a really quick stretch at the end, but definitely stretch longer if you feel the need to. And then just stretching our arms in front and behind. Ah, that feels good on the shoulders. And that's it. Thanks for joining me for my arms and abs workout, and I look forward to working out with you again soon.